What is 2 plus 2? Eh. Uh. Hello, 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 hello. Yes, thank you once again for joining me. As some of you may or may not know, my name is Alex. And this week, this week, we are here to do a little bit of a test. But don't worry, it's not a test for you out there. It is actually a little test for me. Because what I've asked my wife to do is to pick some random questions that are designed for the average 15 year old. And then I'm gonna see if I can answer them myself. Now just to confirm, by the way, I am slightly older than 15. So hopefully, I should be able to answer these questions easily. I hope. Anyhow, without further ado, let us get started on these questions that can be easily answered by a 15 year old. I'm not nervous. So here we go, question one. What is the name of the street that the Prime Minister of the UK lives in? Well, I know that one, that is Downing Street, because he lives in 10 Downing Streets. Is that correct? <laughs> Woohoo! So I knew that one, that was a good one. Okay, so I've done that one. One to me. Question two. What tree do acorns come from? A... I know this, I do know it. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What tree do acorns come from? You don't get an acorn tree, do you? Do you get an acorn tree? Um, hazelnut tree, uh, ash, ash tree? Hazelnut tree, oak tree. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna say it, ash tree. That is my final answer, ash tree. Which I don't even know exists. Is that correct? <laughs> <laughs> An oak tree, I even said oak tree. I even said that. Ugh. Okay, moving on from that disaster. Question three. On a farm, a kid is a baby what? A goat. A goat, yeah, I'm gonna say goat. I'm sticking with that, my gut instinct says goat. So, uh, on a farm, a kid is a baby goat. Yes. See, I do know something. Meh. Okay then, the next question, right. So, name the four oceans of the world. Right, okay. This one, I know this one, I know it. Pacific, Atlantic, Southern, one more, one more. North, no, it's not North, North Sea. Um, uh, what is it? Um, oh, I don't know it, I don't know it. I'm gonna kick myself, aren't I? Okay, so what are the answers? I got, I got three, Pacific, Atlantic, Southern, Southern, that is one, isn't it? What are the answers, is that right or wrong? So Southern is not even an ocean, is it? Let's just pretend that one didn't happen. Making up oceans, eh? Oh dear. How many colours in a rainbow? I have no idea on that one. There was a song, there was a song, hold on. Red and yellow and pink and green, <laughs> orange and purple and blue. But I get to seven. But I'm sure it's, I'm sure there must be more. I'm sure like, what about Violet and Indigo? I can't remember the verse, right? So I'm just gonna say 12, off the top of my head, 12, okay? 12 colors of a rainbow. Oh, no, no, no. I even said seven, well I didn't say it, but I had seven. Oh, I do know some things, I swear I do. I do have some kind of brain in there. A very small one. Okay, moving on. God, this is so stressful. I thought it was gonna be fun, but it was proper stress, right? How many stars and stripes does the American flag have? I have no idea on that one. Um, I'm gonna say, I know the stars is 50. I know that. I, I have no idea on the stripes though. Stripes is, I'm gonna say 12 again. Or is it 10? 10? 10, I'm gonna say 12. So 50 stars, 12 stripes, okay? <laughs> I was, 
Oh, I had no idea. I had no idea on that. That's unfair, that one. I mean, I know. I don't look at the American flag. No offense to any Americans watching, but I don't. Why would I know that one? And a 15 year old can answer these. I'm sorry. Poxy conspiracy against me here. What is the first element on the periodic table of elements? What is the first element on the periodic table? Oxygen? Sulfur? I don't know. I've absolutely no idea on that one. Oxygen. I'm just gonna say oxygen because it's so obvious. Is that right? I knew that was wrong. I knew that was wrong. You know, ah, oh, ethically failing. Which fingernail grows the fastest? What kind of a question is that? Which fingernail grows the fastest? What type of question is that? I don't know. Um, or is it a trick question? I'm gonna say all of them grow at the same speed because why would one grow separately fast from the other? Which fingernail grows fastest? I'm gonna say they don't. They all grow the same speed. What? Okay, I can still do it. There's two questions left. I can still win it back, okay? Um, but I'm not going to because I don't know this one. What is the female part of the flower called? What is the female part of a flower called? I have absolutely no idea on that one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm really sorry. I don't know. What is it then? What is that? What is it? What? How do you even pronounce that? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And the final question, even though I'm completely lost, right? Okay, so which country gave us the words shampoo and pajamas? Which country gave us the words shampoo? I don't know. I don't know that one. Okay, let's just break it down. You never know. I could win something back. Surely it would have to be a. It can't be like a third world country. Not in a bad way. I just mean as in, they don't have the luxuries. I, I don't even know what I'm saying there. What a country, well, what country would invent the words? It'd be something like, where the Eskimos live or something? Where do the Eskimos live? Who would wash their hair a lot and then wear pajamas? Sweden. Sweden is my answer. <laughs> India, I didn't even know that. Come on, India. Well, good on you, India, for inventing them words. But now I've got that wrong. I mean, how are you supposed to know who invented them words? That was difficult. And a 15-year-old is supposed to know all them. An average 15-year-old could no way have answered them. I'm sorry, that is just wrong. So I did really badly, really, didn't I? That was hard, that was really difficult, wasn't it? You've got to admit, that was not easy. That was really hard to do. But it could have been worse. It could have been worse. I could have got non rice and then just had to leave and never ever be seen again. Oh well, it was a bit of fun. It was a bit of fun, even though it was actually really stressful. And I got a few rice, so I'm not that bad. But they, they were difficult. Oh well, it was a bit of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, even though I failed, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Um, so yes, that, um, that was bad. Still, never mind. Uh, once again, or before I go, I just want to say thank you once again for watching. Uh, it really means a lot that you are watching my videos. How do you think you would have done on them questions? Because I think they were difficult. But if you think you could have done better, Obviously don't watch it all and then say you knew all the answers because that'd be cheating. If you think you could have done better, hey, let me know. Or if you just think I really am that dumb, then hey, put it in the comments and let me know that I'm dumb. Anyhow though, until next time, thank you once again for watching. It really means a lot and I really do, really do appreciate all you subscribers out there who are watching my videos, leaving comments. It means so much to me, honestly, it really does. It's almost like having this huge brick wall beneath you but the bricks are support and they support me. So it's good. So I really, I just want to say thank you to all of you, okay? But if you did enjoy this video um, and you haven't subscribed yet, then please show your appreciation by clicking subscribe. And until next time, thank you once again. And hey, maybe I'll see you in a proper exam place. Hello, is that Menza? AKA the British Society for IQ Tests.
Oh good, I just wanted to let you know that your questions are sh You know what? I don't think them questions were for 15 year old.